should be live. Can you see our little sign there, Caitlin? All right, here we go. From Facebook Live Friday. Da, 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 da. Facebook Live Friday. From Huntsville, da, 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 da. it's Facebook Live Friday. Facebook this is Amanda Friday. along with Caitlin and the Huntsville da, 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 Utilities Orchestra inviting da, 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 you to join Todd da, 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 and his guests, the Pulaski da, 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 Pike da, 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 Drive Through Team and Nobel Prize da, 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 winning physicist da, 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 Dr. James Peebles. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Todd. Hello everybody, welcome to Facebook Live Friday. It is the 18th or 17th episode, 17th or 18th episode of Facebook Live Friday. I am your host, Todd, along with, as always, the Bonnie to my Clyde and the Jekyll to my Hyde, Amanda. Say hi, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Caitlin, as always, is out of the shot, but is uh, watching for your questions and comments and letting me know about them here in my ear. Say hi, Caitlin. She said hi. And uh, you'll notice we are masked up, or at least I'm masked up, uh, wearing my new Southeast Missouri State University uh, uh, mask, go Red Hawks. High above the Mississippi, ageless in majestic flow. Rise your halls in native grandeur. Beacon light to all below. Cape Girardeau alma mater, forward press unceasingly in the search for truth untrammeled till humanity is free. Um, we're also practicing social distancing and uh, I am also practicing emotional distancing according to my wife and kids. Today we're at our Pulaski Pike drive through and you may say, why are we at our Pulaski Pike drive through That's because today, July 24th, is National drive through Day. That's a real thing. Did you know that was a real thing, Amanda? I didn't know until yesterday. Until I told you yesterday. I think I can take this off. We're far enough apart now. Um, yes, it is a real thing. You know, sometimes you don't have time to cook. Maybe you just don't want to cook. Um, and so, you know, National drive through Day is a day to celebrate the fact that in this country, you can just hop in your car and drive to a restaurant. You don't even have to get out of your car and you can get some food. And that's what we're celebrating today, National drive through Day. Now this, we have a drive through location. Now you cannot get food at our Pulaski Pike location. I know that for a fact. Tried several times until HR told me to stop. But uh, you, what you can do here is pay your utility bill. And, uh, what? Let's go show them the drive-thru. Let's go show them the drive-thru. We have special guest with us from the Pulaski Pike drive-thru team, Rebecca. Say hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. And she's going to tell us all the ins and outs and everything you need to know about the Pulaski Pike drive-thru facility uh, for those of you who have not driven through it. So let's just go out through the gate here. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lanes. Seven lanes available. You get that at McDonald's? No, you don't get seven lanes. At most, you get two. And you can't pay your utility bill there. We got seven lanes here to serve you. This facility has been up and running all through the pandemic period. We didn't close it down. It's a great contactless way for you to pay your bill. Our tellers on the inside, masked up, gloved up. And here's the thing. This is where we keep our tellers, right here behind this glass. Now, if you come to visit, don't tap on the glass. I can't see anything. Don't don't tap on the glass and don't feed them. Hi. It, it, it disturbed them. Yeah, so this is tellers in the wild, as we like to call it here in their natural habitat. Um, but this this whole facility, regularly cleaned and sanitized, uh, using uh, this really cool. It looks like a giant. Um, have you seen the thing they use? The big. Yes. It looks like right. a big. Uh, it looks like a super soaker, kind of. Yes, yes. Like yes. A, one of those big battery-operated squirt guns, and it shoots this. Uh, electrostatic they use it in hospitals it's really cool um, but we do that here clean it out all this equipment out here is cleaned regularly um, we limit the number of people of course nobody who, do, who works who doesn't work here can go in uh, so you know we risk there's no risk of outside contamination and on a busy day and correct me if I'm wrong here on a busy day we can have as many as 800 people come through here and pay their bills. oh right? wow sometimes we're backed up to Pulaski Pike really Absolutely. Even with seven lanes, this is a very popular way for people to pay their bill. But you guys get them through here pretty quick. I mean, it's, you know. We absolutely do our best. We sure do. And uh, an important thing you should know, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, um, you can only pay with cash or check. You can't use plastic at, at this, right? If you come through one of our lanes, we would be glad to take your cash or your check. If you do have a credit card, we have our beautiful kiosk here. It does take cash, check, or credit card at any time of the day or night. Now, I know a lot of places right now are not giving uh, change, uh, like, you know, for fear of, 
are we doing that here? Or? We are giving change back here. If you use the kiosk, it does not give change. But if you come through the lane, yes, we right now we are giving change. And so you you come in. Now, do you need to have your bill with you when you when you have here? I mean, probably no, helps. no, Todd. It does make it faster if you bring your bill. We can get you in and out much faster. But if you just know your name and your address, that's really all it takes. And uh, you know, hopefully we all know our name and addresses. <laughs> I, I've forgotten mine a few times, but but still. Um, okay, so you pull up, and it's basically kind of like you're at a bank. You got the tubes. Uh, you put your your bill in your payment method and everything in the tube. It goes up through the tube, and it goes in there and then the magic happens we send you a receipt and you're on your way that is absolutely how it happens if yes. i may quote sonny corleone but if you put about um so we got a couple of people in line right now um we got security cameras uh it's not we're in the shade that's nice very nice and shady here um but as you mentioned we do have the lovely kiosk here and uh for those of you who are saying scott because if your name is todd you're going to get called scott a lot um i want to pay by a debit or credit card as you said, we got the kiosk right here. So let's talk about the kiosk. Now, I'm told by uh, the people in our billing department that last month, because we have several of these, this isn't the only one we have, um, the kiosks that we have were used more last month than any month since we installed them. And we've had them for a while. I was got two years. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. a while. So uh, we, there's this one. We have three at Jordan Road. When I'm looking at you like this, you're supposed to fill in the blank I'm for me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, we have one in front of our building at Spragans, and we have one in the lobby at Spragans. They're very easy to use, and in fact, how easy are they to use, you ask? They're so easy. Oh, no, you, you were supposed to say, how easy name. are they to use? Oh, how? We gotta start rehearsing. Oh, more. man. Bad. Let me tell y'all a great feature on this. Please do. It, it gives you the here. options when you hit start and accept. If you've got your bill, you, you can hit the top one and just scan your bill here at the laser light. It's really quick. If you don't have your bill with guys with your driver's license, just hit the driver's license. Turn your license on the back. Scan your license. It's really quick and easy. If you know your account number, just type in your account number or just your address. It's just so quick and easy. I'm going to show you how quick and easy because I'm going to pay my mother's utility bill right now, and I'm just looking. I found this piece of paper in my wallet and trying to figure out what it is. That's oh, great. Such a I'll gentleman. deal with that later. Huh? You're such a gentleman. Well, I, if I don't bill. do it, then I'm going to get a phone call. Well, Let, let's tell everybody her address. Yeah. <laughs> let's do that. All right. So, um, I, I don't have my mother's bill. I do my know my mother's name and address. So I'm going to hit All right. Her address, and now you, I'm not recording you. I'm not messing this up. Not today. Wow, that's where your mom lives? <laughs> Although if you give out her address, maybe other people will come and pay her bill as well. No? Well, uh, then, you know, when they forget to do it, you know, she can call them and... Wow, mom left the lights on. Yeah, she did. <laughs> so are you paying your full I balance? I pay the full balance. That's I great. I my mom's blank checks right here. Because I'm going to just kind of... Like face oh, down. yeah, face down. And, and I'm going to try to do it without getting hit by a car because there's a car coming. Well, I'm sorry, he is a real customer. <laughs> we have another customer okay, coming so up. That scans in and then it scans back out. No, oh, good. And it didn't take it. Well, this is working real well. Wow. It's because I think because you folded your check. Yeah, I folded my the check. You folded the check into like It's in my wallet. Pieces. What do you want from me? Okay, so um, <laughs> So you break out the credit card. Right. <laughs> exactly. well, I, don't have, I don't have her credit card. Okay, so if you didn't have a wrinkled up check in your uh, wallet, that's how you would pay your mother's credit card bill. Right. Or your mother's... Uh, Utility bill. Let's get out of the way so that people who hopefully don't have wrinkled checks. Can get <laughs> um, to be fair, that that check looked like it may have gone through the washing machine. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> wallet for at least a year. Yeah, it's, it's been in my wallet for a while. Um, so what else were we going to talk about? Okay, so um, so yeah, you know, don't use a wrinkled check. Obviously, now you don't have to fill the check out, which is interesting. You put it in, it scans it. But a beep, bop, 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 boop, spits the check back out. You can put it in your wallet and get it even more uh, wrinkled up. Um, 
So what else we got here? Okay, that's all there was. Uh, all there was to it. Um, you know, there was one thing we were going to talk about today, but then after the discussion we had before we came here, I don't think I'm going to bring it up. Uh oh. Because it was just too confusing. You know, the thing we got confused about. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. But I do want to talk about the fact that uh, if you uh, follow us on Facebook, which obviously you do, or you wouldn't be watching right now, um, you saw that the COVID-19 relief fund, the first payments, disbursements were made. Uh, from that this week to several local charities that are supporting the community. This is the first of several disbursements that will be made. <clears throat> the the COVID-19 Relief Fund was set up by the Tennessee Valley Authority, our good friends up there, uh, in partnership with Huntsville Utilities and uh, several Huntsville Utilities employees and local companies and even local individuals uh, made uh, contributions to that fund to help those who were financially impacted uh, during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, which of course is still going on. If you would like to contribute to that, you can call us at 256-535-1200 and uh, we'll tell you how to do that. And we will also be giving a shout out on our social media pages very soon to those people who have so generously contributed to that uh, fund. Um, and oh, Amanda, I got a question for you. Did uh -oh. you know, uh, we said today was National drive through Day. Do you know what other day it is? It is National Tell an Old Joke Day. Oh, I know a good one. I know right, a good one. Can I do it? Can I do it? Tell us your old joke. D can I do the one I told you yesterday? I don't remember the one you told me yesterday. <sighs> I don't remember. I, I don't remember. All right, I'm going to do another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? By the way, my five-year-old loves this joke. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she uh, does. Yeah. yeah. Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Okay. All right, well, I'll tell my old joke. Grasshopper walks into a bar. Bartender looks at him and says, Hey, you know there's a drink named after you? Grasshopper says, Thorndike? Now see, the original punchline of that joke is the, the grasshopper says there's a drink called Irving. I had a cousin who used to tell the joke, Thorndike, and I also thought that was funnier. So, I tell, Caitlin, can you hear me? Do you have an old joke? All right, Caitlin's going to tell me her old joke, and I'll, I'll repeat it. Why did the lobster care? Is that what you said? Oh, why, why didn't the lobster care? Share. Why didn't the lobster share? Because he was, oh, because he was shellfish. <laughs> okay. That was, Do you have one? Yeah, I absolutely okay. have one. Thank you for asking. Do you know the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? No. It depends on if you see it later or after a while. <laughs> see, that's a good one. I thought okay. so too. Yeah, I accidentally hit the button on my earpiece and put up on Caitlin. Sorry about that, Caitlin. Um, it's also National Ice Cream Day. Oh, it's National Ice Cream, ice cream Month. <gasps> it's the whole month. No, yeah, month. that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, everybody got a, Everybody's got a favorite ice cream. Oh, let me tell you a story about ice cream. <clears throat> My wife, every time her birthday rolls around, she wants one of those uh, ice cream cakes that comes from a local ice cream place here in town. I don't think I can say yeah, the name right. um, and it has to be mint chocolate chip that's all well and good here's the thing there's me and and we have three kids and every time one of our birthday rolls around we're getting a mint chocolate chip ice cream cake for our birthday it doesn't matter what we want that's what we're getting yes so my wife's birthday was last month and i went and got a, a different one <gasps> i did you know mom's rule still married yep all right <laughs> anyway it is national ice cream month uh, what's your favorite when it comes to ice cream? I like ice cream. Well, I'm kind of with Gina. I like mint, mint chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. <laughs> but I also like pecan pralines. Yeah, that's my... You got, you Chocolate's got, awesome. I'll just stick with chocolate. With chocolate. Caitlin, you got a favorite? Did I hang up on her again? Probably. What's your favorite? What did you end up buying instead of the mint chocolate chip? Everybody it was uh, Oreo. Peanut butter Oreo. Peanut? No, no it wasn't. It was chocolate. It was like Reese's peanut butter cup. I don't know if I can say oh. Reese's. It's a brand name. Caitlin, you back? Okay, you are there. Okay, I accidentally hung up on her again. 
I got these new earpieces, and I keep forgetting that you touch them and stuff happens, so I go up to listen, and I hang up on Caitlin. Do you have a favorite ice cream? A mixture of chocolate and peanut butter? No, that's a good one. You can't go wrong with that. Um, Nobody has commented. What's your favorite What's your favorite ice cream yeah, out there? Come on. Is, and, uh, and and we'll, we'll argue with you about it. Um, All right, anything oh, else about I, the... Um, you know, I did, uh, you know, it's National drive through Day. I was thinking about this last night. We have the drive through here. And I was, uh, I was moved, if you will, to uh, talk about, uh, I wrote a song about the importance of this drive through and drive throughs in our lives, but uh, my alarm just went off telling me that we're out of time, so I'm not going to be able to sing that today. Um, so my apologies to a Nobel Prize winning physicist, Dr. James Peoples. We just ran out of time today. We'll try to get him back on the show real soon. Um, but the top post was the uh, COVID-19 relief thing. I mean, was, or Caitlin was asking me what the top post of the week was. Top post. Yes, the most oh, engaging post, the post that you guys liked the most was the thing about the COVID relief fund. I'm sorry, I forgot Which to mention that that was the top post. It's a great thing, and, we're, you know, we're very happy that we're able to uh, help people out with this. Um, we do want you to know, uh, before we go, we did post a new job opening on our LinkedIn page this morning. It will be posted on our other on this page on Facebook Twitter Instagram later this afternoon but it is already posted on our LinkedIn page uh, and on our website www.hsvutil.org you can head over there and check it out um, I don't think I have anything else uh, Caitlin you got anything to add butter pecan somebody likes butter pecan she says uh, yes. butter pecan you can't go wrong with butter pecan huh with a little bit of chocolate syrup on top. Well, now like you're both perfect. talking to me. Oh, sorry. That's go go ahead, do. Caitlin. <laughs> Macretia Stewart likes butter pecan. Okay, well, you know, I like butter pecan. You can't go wrong with butter pecan. I like pecans. My, one of my kids doesn't like pecans. I can't remember which one. I don't Probably something I should know, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, Amanda, what do you got to add? I was just mentioning, like, how long, do we know how long this drive-thru has been here? Like, forever? It's I'll been here a long time. I know, I used to pay my bill here at least 18 years ago, and I would drive through, and I'm like, oh, I want to work there, and so now I'm living the dream. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love it. I'm loving it, too. Now, it, it, uh, do you guys, like, rotate the staff out here, is it the same people all We do, all of our PPRs, we rotate downtown and okay, over so here. You just, sometimes you're downtown, sometimes you're Pretty cool. So sometimes you come down here to see Rebecca. Well, you probably won't because that glass is pretty thick. You can't really see her. Right. No, you I only you might see me coming and going. So here's what you do. Anytime you come through, just say hi, Rebecca. There you yes. go. If she's here, she'll say hi. If it's not her, <laughs> maybe they'll say hi anyway. I don't know. But just do that anyway. Um, so uh, you have anything you want to add? No, thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for, for having us, for letting us come out here and, uh, and for letting us in the gate because we never know if our badge is going to work when we get out here. Um, so that's uh, that's all we've got today. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to uh, like all our social media pages. We're on Facebook, obviously, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, if you're on the Nextdoor platform, we send messages out that way. We have uh, a YouTube channel you can subscribe to. Uh, we do lots of fun things on that. There's a video Amanda told me the other day, a, a video we did pretty early on uh, called Cooking with Todd that has suddenly, for some reason, just exploded online. <laughs> uh, we don't really know why, but it was up to, like, what, 3,000 views or something the other yeah. day? Just out of nowhere. you got to find that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. And so uh, until next time, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, of course, send us a message through Facebook. We'll be more to answer. Or something you'd like to see us talk about on a future episode of Facebook Live, Facebook Live Friday. So again, go Red Hawks. And remember, this is Todd for Amanda and Caitlin and Rebecca saying, you can't spell utilities without you. <laughs>